Now we have seen that Oswald's dilution law is an application or evidence for Arrhenius theory of electrolytic dissociation. If Arrhenius theory is the first postulate, he proposed the dissociation as equilibrium. Equilibrium is the same. But this equilibrium holds good only for weak electrolytes. So, Oswald's dilution law is the same. Modification in the Arrhenius theory. Applicable Arrhenius theory applicable better to uh, weak electrolytes. That is the Oswald's dilution law holds good if uh, based on Arrhenius theory holds good for weak electrolytes. Electrolytes are on the render period strong electrolytes and weak electrolytes. Strong electrolytes now which are completely dissociated at all concentrations. The copper sulfate, silver nitrate, sulfuric acid. Allah on the N concentration, one molar point, one molar point, not one molar. Yabla Vertan Dalam, other on the ions are perinjuru. Copper sulfate on the CO2 plus AO, SO4 2 minus AO perinjuru. Silver nitrate AG plus AO, NO3 minus AO perinjuru. Sulfuric acid 2H plus AO, sulfate ions AO perinjuru. N concentration are null for all. So strong electrolytes are the electrolytes which are completely ionized. Or completely dissociated at all concentrations. At all concentration, kunja salt put on jari. Concentration and they are dissolved in water. So if a copper sulfate is salt, copper sulfate is the candle karachapara is the electrolyte. So it, uh, it is dissociated at all concentrations. Candle karachone is the candle silver ions opposite po, nitrate, nitrate ions po. And weak electrolytes na tannila karachalo adoda dissociate amount to dissociate agar the maru. A plus B minus form agre. This amount of A plus B minus formation will be large for strong electrolytes. Amount of this form will be low for weak electrolytes. So weak electrolytes ka the kamiyata iruko. Let us apply this uh, uh, law for. Weak electrolytes. Well, weak electrolytes which are not completely ionized at all concentrations. Although they are partially converted to into ions. If a example of weak acid or electrolyte or the acid or base strong electrolytic acid HCl. Strong electrolytic base sodium dioxide. Strong electrolytic salt sodium chloride. Weak electrolytic acid na acetic acid. Weak electrolytic base is ammonium hydroxide. Weak electrolytic base is ammonium hydroxide. This is the salt. Acid plus base gives salt plus water. This is the H2O. This is the H2O. This is the H2O. CH3, COO, NH4. And the compound is ammonium acetate. Ammonium acetate. That is weak electrolyte. This is the weak electrolyte. So, weak acid, weak base. Weak salt solution. That is the electrolyte. If you apply acid, you can apply the result of weak base. You can apply the result of weak base. Plastic acid is supposed to dissociate into a state ion. Acid acid is a proton donor. Proton donor loses a proton. Proton is H+. Hydrogen is a electron. Remove it. That is H+. And the remove an electron acetate in the ion per acetate ion. This is the proton, this is the acetic acid. This is the weakly dissociated. Forward reaction is not going to be done. Reverse reaction is not going to be done. Backward reaction is not going to be done. Undissociated molecules are more. Dissociated molecules are less. What do you want to do? Where is the form? Now, the concentration of acetic acid is seen. Then, we will see the path. Alpha is the degree of dissociation defined as the ratio of the number of moles dissociated to the total number of moles. For strong electrolytes, alpha is equal to tends to unity. For weak electrolytes, alpha tends to zero. Tends to zero is almost the same. So, almost the same as zero. So, now, C is the concentration of acetic acid. C moles, it is the fraction. It is a fraction. So, I know that you know the definition of fraction of molecules dissociated. 
degree of dissociation is defined as the fraction of molecules dissociated and the fraction I expand one wrong number of molecules dissociated by, to, by total if a one mole alpha mole dissociate a china c mole alpha c mole dissociate a c mole alpha c mole dissociate a this is the equilibrium even though equilibrium is shifted towards left it is an equilibrium definitely equilibrium na nama law of mass action apply pannala law of mass action apply pannala equilibrium concentration in the equilibrium constant in the formula is known a product concentration on the ch3 coo minus into h plus divided by ch3 coo h concentration so either on the dissociation of fustic acid is an equilibrium shifting towards a left more undissociated molecules are there dissociated molecules give rise to protons and acetate anions anions are negatively charged ions if i do the equilibrium equilibrium constant is the product of the acetate ion into product of the proton divided by reactant of the uh, concentration of acetic acid elame concentration of acetate ion into concentration of proton divided by uh, concentration of acetic acid gives the equilibrium con equilibrium constant of dissociation reaction for acetic acid if the equilibrium concentration na calculate pannu one mole vandu dis vandu irundadna alpha mole dissociate aagum c mole irundadna alpha into c dissociate aagum alpha into c dissociate aagum if it's one mole dissociate inge equal ah irukku one mole dissociate aana one mole of state aya one mole of h plus appa alpha c mole dissociate aayirundadna alpha c moles of acetate ions form aayirukku alpha c moles of protons will be formed but it is on the total molecule total now concentration it is dissociated concentration total concentration is c dissociated concentration is alpha c undissociated concentration a difference undissociated concentration is nothing but c minus alpha c you can see a common at the c into one minus alpha other undissociated acetic acid or molecule ipdi potta idu par undissociated ions nu potta dissociated ions a potamna dissociated ion podama molecule a potamna undissociated ipo undissociated acetic acid concentration is c into 1 minus alpha c into 1 minus alpha idu vandu ipo calculate idu eppadi paathadunu paathutom adanalu ipo expression a paapom so this is this equilibrium constant for this dissociation if i multiply by one in the alpha so over c cancel i do so equal to alpha squared c by 1 minus alpha so okay idu in the constant idu vandu dissociation constant of weak acid nu parana ena nama weak acid ah thana eduthundukom adanalu this is called dissociation constant of weak acid here alpha is called degree of dissociation c is the concentration of acetic acid taken initially so ipa nama paathirukom yerkanave for weak electrolytes alpha tends to zero nu alpha tends to zero nu almost zero ipa denominator la mattum alpha zero alpha ku bala zero ponu numerator la kodakuda adanalada adu per tends to zero ipa tends to zero na equal to zero nu potra kodad enga enga nama approximate panna mudiyumo anga dhaan poda mudiyum inge numerator la zero nu potta na ratio ve irukadu zero by anything zero na idu denominator la zero potta this value approximates to alpha square by c into 1 minus 0 is 1 so ka equal to alpha square c right side la nak so idu approximately equal to nal equal to nal unda so ka equal to alpha square c ipa ka engiradhu dissociation constant of weak acid alpha engiradhu degree of dissociation of weak acid c engiradhu concentration of acetic acid or concentration of acid ipa concentration of acid um rendu parameter therinjadna moonavadhu nama kandupidichiralam ipa dissociation constant therinjadna alpha kandupidichiralam alpha therinjadna dissociation constant kandupidichiralam so idu idu base panni book la idu konja replace pannum inda equation la replace pannumna enna pannum ka by c equal to alpha square ka by c equal to alpha square allade idu rearrange panna alpha equal to root of 
ka by c alpha equal to root of ka by c so degree of dissociation can be calculated from the knowledge of concentration and dissociation constant of the acid so this is uh, in the law in the render statement is the oswald's dilution law k equal to alpha square c or its other form it is called oswald dilution law the law is based on the model of the arena a b gives rise to a plus plus b minus uh, so it is an equilibrium so our under the electrolyte oswald and the equation equilibrium weak acid is equal if you are weak as the panna karata, weak base get the panna karata. When a strong as to go strong base go at the panna karata varad. Yes or no? Strong as to go alpha tends to unity. If you put alpha equal to uh, unity, 1 minus alpha 0 and I do, by 0 infinity and I do, it complicates the calculation. I know Aswas dilution law is applicable only for weak electrolytes. Is applicable only for weak electrolytes. The electrolytes may be acid or base or salt. Electrolyte is a Electrolyte acid or base or salt. So, weak electrolyte is weak acid. It is a weak acid. It is a weak base. Weak base example is ammonium hydroxide. Weak base ammonium hydroxide. This is the equation. Let, let me repeat, for me I repeat. Ammonia acetic acid formula, uh, CH3COH. Ammonia hydroxide formula, NH4OH. So, NH4OH dissociates into NH4 plus plus OH minus. In the concentration of KN, KB. So, brief away, summa solta katla. Let us apply this uh, concept, our source dilution law concept to the weak. Base ammonium hydroxide. Yeah, hydroxide is not base. Tha. And ammonium is weaker than sodium. Sodium hydroxide is weak. Ammonium hydroxide is weak. And very weak base. If you dissociate on NH, NH, so NH, ammonium hydroxide on dissociation, use NH4 plus plus OH minus. In the equilibrium, we have dissociation constant for this weak base KB equal to product concentration is NH4 plus into OH minus divided by NH4 OH. This is assumption. All from the degree of dissociation that is number of moles of ammonia dissociated divided by total number of moles equal to alpha. If C is the concentration of ammonia taken, ammonium hydroxide taken initially, alpha C will be dissociated. Because of degree of dissociation. So, alpha C moles of ammonium ion will be formed. Alpha C moles of hydroxide ion will be formed. 1 minus alpha into C moles of ammonium hydroxide remain undissociated. That is the problem. C is the cancer formula. This is the formula. Alpha squared C by 1 minus alpha. And then you left layer the KB. If ammonium hydroxide is weak electrolyte. Weak electrolyte now alpha equal to tending to 0. KB equal to alpha square C. If a degree of dissociation of weak base in root of KB by C. So, this is the Oswald's dilution law applicable to weak base. Oswald's dilution law applicable to weak acid. And the K or a suffix tomorrow. Alpha under the common term. Alpha under the degree of dissociation. K under the K under the Dissociation constant. K and so na dissociation constant of weak acid. K B and so na dissociation constant of weak base. Adhe ma in the rendering yaam hoch kya hindi the Oswald's dilution law holds good only for the weak electrolytes. Strong electrolytes ko pora pora the strong electrolytes are the ones which are completely ionized at all concentration. If they are completely ionized, number of moles dissociated, total number of moles same or alpha equal to 1 and alpha equal to 1 is subject complicated. So, this law fails for strong electrolytes. In that case, 0 and infinity. 
is equal to infinity in an arthwa, there is a tremendous increase. Dissociation constant increases tremendously for strong electrolytes. That is only general observation, but the limitation of this Oswald's uh, dilution law based on Arrhenius theory is that it can be applied safely only to weak electrolytes. That is to be noted. So, in the island, even the island, the parameter could do no parameter cap on. We will be required to either de determine the degree of dissociation of a weak acid like acetic acid or degree of dissociation of a weak base like ammonia hydroxide or if the degree of dissociation is given, we are supposed to calculate the dissociation constants of the respective acid. So, this is an important application. This actually segregates. If you have a weak electrolyte, if you have a high, very high, strong electrolytes.